You know what I should have labeled this episode last episode? Is this the Konosuba killer? Because comedy. I didn't realize that the comedy was a focal point of this anime until last episode. It's actually so refreshing to see a main character that just doesn't care and just wants to die. He's like, nah, I don't want to live. My only purpose for existence was for a happy ending as in double suicide with my lover Sachan. But, you know, we're in this new world now and uh, not a goddess, but the church girl is super into us because we've got that suicide riz. We got a cat girl that we quote unquote saved. Buddy is cracked with poison, even though he has like no HP or mana. And Sachan, not sure if she's here. At the end of the episode, there was a pinkish haired girl and the only cues that I'm guessing who Sachan is, is the simply the color of her hair. Who is it? I'm not really sure, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. The funeral casket thing. But that would take work. Nah, you keep pulling me. That's like a dying animation uh, bit. <laughs> He's simply resting in peace. Nice use of wording there. I honestly forgot her name as well, but she keeps butching her name. Right now, I think we're trying to go to the cat girl's place, right? We're trying to go over her place? <laughs> He's resting in peace, bro. They never said her name? Really? Every isekai, bro, every isekai or native fantasy, like straight up, is just a main character chasing after a girl. Right over here. Chasing after Sachan. Why is Bomb climbing the tower to chase after Rachel? Why is Will trying to fucking climb the tower to chase after Elfie? Why is, like, just think about any fucking anime. There is always a girl at the end of the day, bro. It's always a girl. That's right, double suicide. That's the dream. Oi! Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Just remember that this fucking funeral thing is something we just picked up. Like, we straight up just like picked this shit up on the side of the road and dragged it here and now we're just leaving it, bro. So that's Charlotte. That's who I thought Sachan was based off of the hair color off of last episode, but I do not think this is Sachan. So we have King Thomas and Princess Charlotte. So like, our main character got summoned in. There's no way that Sachan got reincarnated, right? That'd be an interesting twist because I'm trying to look for someone that looks like Sachan's style. But if they got reincarnated rather than being summoned, that'd be really interesting. But they got taken here through a truck, right? truck -kun did it, so I don't know how that works. Pleasant memories. Pleasant memories. But everything is relative. Now he's about to get the most depressing suicidal shit because that's pleasant to him. It's really comfortable in there. ジャノシャルロット様はとても美しい方ですね。Wait, wait, wait, both of them? Wait, wait, who's becoming the husband? You want a femboy or you want a thick ass boy? I mean, the femboy, yeah, he's cute, but like, who's, who's this dude? He's hiding beneath the armor. What does he look like underneath? Maybe it's a plot twist, man. What's going on? <laughs> He's still snacking on these fucking pills. Straight up, he just always eat this shit like it's fucking popcorn, dude. Oh. 
You might be the worst fucking king ever. You're gonna ask two, three fucking strangers that just showed up today to determine who's gonna be your fucking daughter's husband who's gonna be the next king. Like, you're gonna... Why? Why the fuck would you... Why would you care? It's not like we're like a legendary Yusha either, even though technically Isekai hero he's supposed to be. It's like that. You give us that much credit already? I fear that if we pick Otto, I fear that if we pick Otto, he's gonna cheat on Charlotte by sneaking out to receive some back shots from Gomez. But I fear that if we pick Gomez, that it's. Gonna, I feel like this is the real ship here. Gomez and Otto, they're already in it together, bro. Like, Gomez top, Otto bottom. I, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, how the fuck should we know? What's that saying? He's so logical! <laughs> Bro, he immediately threatened the king by saying, You wanna know how comfortable it is to sleep in a fucking coffin casket? And then he shits on him. <laughs> Horrible tyrant of a king. What a based main character, man. Damn! <laughs> I think Charlotte just got rizzed. I think that she just saw something in the suicidal main character. He's like, damn. Damn, I want him instead. She keeps staring. Okay, we're not sharing beds. あの、He's too depressed. Past lover that you cannot compete with. Ignore wait the cat girl's there. Ow! That's why I was like, the third bed's fucking empty. I'm like, where is the cat girl? Like, the third bed was empty. Like, where is she? The, sh the tails just gave it away. <laughs> yeah. She's the blankets. She is. If she had a chance to get on his thighs, he was, she would do it in an instant. Otto? Otto? Charlotte? This soundtrack is so fucking good in the background. In my head canon, it's Otto playing. I thought we see him, but okay, time to meet with Charlotte. <laughs> But not as beautiful as you. We've been watching way too many fucking rom-coms. And every opportunity, I try to think of a cringe, corny fucking way to raise up girls. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. You could just be suicidal risk too. Just fucking ruin it, yeah? I want to fucking drown in it instead. Kind of? <laughs> the husband selection. ごめんさんと夫。私にはまだ決めきれなくて間もないのに。今や兵士たちの中では最も頼りになる方です。だから彼を選ぶべきだと思います。でも夫は幼な well, that's why Otto's gonna lose then. And you already said childhood friend, like... Pick me instead. I just feel like she's gonna end up picking him at this rate. Uh, nah, I don't know. The way that she was looking at him, was that a look of romance? I don't know. 
The suicidal Riz worked on the blonde elf girl, but I don't think Charlotte's going that direction. <laughs> Yeah, you shit on her dad. Bokunojinse <laughs> fucking clouds move too. I love how as soon as he gives that cool ass line, the moonlit fucking sky. Look at this. Oh, 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 he's so profound. Believe in the will of the heart. It would be genuinely hilarious if she ended up choosing him instead because of this fucking advice. Like, I don't know if that's gonna happen. It probably shouldn't happen, but it would be funny. Well, why would you bring us here then? This is a private matter for the kings and the royal family. Why, 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 why do you need us three over here? You know, we have no response. We have no reason to be unless that we are also a candidate right now. Witnesses, all right, witnesses. Sensei. Sensei. He's still gonna lose right now, bro. That's not Satan, right? That can't be Satan. Did we mention double suicide? No, we mentioned do a double suicide, right? No, no, he he did say it there the last night. Really? She just wanna die? <laughs> he kept singing this fucking song. Is she just wanna go to bed? Stop humming, motherfucker! What are you doing out here? You think you're serenading me? Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> he was there! He was actually there the whole night! Dude! So it was him playing the thing, but he was behind? This shit actually on Konosuba level of comedy right now. I, I honestly like Konosuba esque. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking attention whore. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't deny it, see? The pretty boy was like, yeah, I was just looking for attention. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> You could hear fly noises. I mean, Gomez never fucking takes off his armor. When was the last time you showered, bro? You nasty ass fuck, Gomez. Oh, shit. <gasps> Yo, shower's popping off. <laughs> The depression Riz is too strong with this guy. Wonder if he would accept, because his betrothed is Sachan, and if he did double suicide with her instead of Sachan, it'd be like betrayal. Yeah, you stinky. It's a demon. It was not a joke. Hold on, she he stuck as the demon. Nani? No. Minotaur. Damn, Gomez.
What did it say? Servant of the wrathful Dark Lord Gomez has appeared. I don't think she did. Do you think that he accidentally just revealed his identity? Like, if he just kept quiet, he could have still... I don't know. I, I guess the plan was to marry Charlotte and then give it to Rattler. But right now we're like, yeah. Like, it wasn't even my detection skill. You just smell like shit. And he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's so knocked out. No, NPCs. <laughs> Tama, temp. <laughs> it's a temp name, I think, right? Like, her name is actually not Tama. It's been never said, but it's temporary. Just Tama. Martial artist level 14. Let's get it. <laughs> Motherfucker, this better be a buff. Whatever you're singing right now, better be an actual buff that serves as a function. I hope you're not just trying to play a song right now, bro. 89? Wait, it's actually... I thought it was gonna be a buff. But nothing happened. Otto just wants to play his fucking songs, bro. The sensei likes it, though. This is absolute fucking chaos right now. Because, like, you have a serious fight and you can still hear Otto fucking sing. La 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 la! La 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 la! Not really working. Oh no, Tama! <laughs> It's a minotaur. ちょうど僕も彼女も好きだ。ドボスーサイド。人思いに殺してくれたまえよ。いや、オトスパップンオフライナウ。愚かな父親の目で自分の意思で望んだことが。what a fucking character. Like, what kind of isekai hero says this shit? He does everything opposite. He's already given up. Come on. Stop wasting time. Just please kill us. Really? Amazing. <laughs> Sensei don't care. Ah, uh, if you look at the princess, anytime in anime you see a girl or a guy, any character with their bangs covering their eyes with the shadows looking down like that, that means that they're regretting their decision or thinking about something else, right? I think she's about to say no. Yeah, I think she's second guessing right now. <laughs> Yeah, she pussying out. Smart though. <laughs> Sensei said, nah, you die with me. Sensei! And then Sensei will also remember, I can't die either. The goal was to find Sachan. All right, let's get out. This soundtrack is so good, man. Sensei, what do you say? You, Oto is actually popping off in the background. Sachan, not you. But what about this, though?
on that low key fucking OP, but maybe this is the same thing of like Aqua being super effective against Demon General simply because of the elemental advantage nature, right? Holy versus like dark or something. <laughs> Yo, Loki Tama OP. Like, the barrier there was to destroy the horn, but Tama literally one shot the Minotaur and sent him flying. That is insane, right? Now, like, I wanted to save you or anything. Okay, and then Tama. I think her name is actually just gonna be Tama moving forward. Like, they didn't give her a name, they're never gonna say it. It's just Tama's gonna be permanent now. <laughs> Loki, Oto is the funniest of today's episode to me. When, like, okay, this is 1926 right now? Like, during the whole fucking scene here, I thought the soundtrack was so fucking good and I was like joking. Oh man, Oto must be around. But like, the revelation that this dude was literally fucking behind the scenes, dude. He was actually there. <laughs> I love Oto. And the whole soundtrack that played during this fight, actually amazing. Like, genuinely, the soundtrack, whatever it played here, I need to get a copy of it. But I can't until the season ends, man. Now what, Charlotte? Charlotte! <laughs> Alright, the dumb king apologizing. Charlotte! <laughs> 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 <gasps> Family saved! <laughs> Low key sensei just like saved everything without doing anything. Like, what did he really do today? He showed up in a fucking coffin, got up, insulted the king multiple times, shit on the fucking king, and then. He saves everyone by not giving a fuck. He's like, yeah, just kill me first. But then Annette clutched and then Tama clutched. And Sensei's still like, just another day for me, baby. Tana. Yeah, he did. Hokuge! Hokuge! More monsters? <laughs> the king retired. I... Is this a smart idea? I don't know. Isn't this something stupid from the fucking king too? Unless Charlotte is that competent. Just placing your daughter, your 15 year old daughter on the fucking throne after that drama may be one of the stupidest things that this king has done. Uh, unless she is that competent. May maybe she is. She seems legit. She seemed fit to rule, yeah? Alto? <laughs> 16, my bad. Hey, we're back in the coffin! Alright, yeah, women that stand on their own two feet are so amazing, right? You got two girls fucking pulling your ass up a hill while you're fucking sitting on a coffin while you say that shit. <laughs> I love it when he does that little smirk. Sorry, something is a my. Something he goes like, <laughs> sky's blue. Wait, time skip happens. Sensei's! <laughs> Sensei's dream is coming true. He's about to die. No, don't save him. Don't save him. Do not save Sensei. Let him die. <laughs> you know, next episode, when we save Sensei, he's gonna be absolutely disappointed that he didn't die, man. And that's another episode of Isekai Shikaku. 
Bro, the comedy just keeps going, man. And the MVP of this episode, I'm gonna give it to Otto, man. Otto, low-key hilarious. Something about joke that's, you know, composed with music is just so good. The musical cue, him playing the fucking, you know, the, the music song. But at the end of the day, it's just like, yeah, I just wanted someone to, like, flex on with my newest songs. Um, Gomez, on the other hand, a little bit kind of slipped, right? Because... The, Charlotte didn't know Gomez was an actual minotaur or a demon until Charlotte just said, you stink, but I don't know. The, the comedy is there and the action is there. And Sensei gets away again, just does standing there. He just eating pills, saying shit like I want to die. And he gets away with it because, you know, he's got helpful helpers. And I think, I, I guess at the end of the day, even if Sensei is not fighting, right? And he does have like poison stuff like that we saw last episode. It's, so, it's more like the lessons that we learn and what do we learn today? Uh, even though a beautiful, you know, a dying woman is quote-unquote beautiful, which is kind of weird. You know, a woman that's gonna walk on her two feet is more beautiful. And then you got these two fucking walking up a goddamn hill carrying the coffin because Sensei got that privilege. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.